Well, let, again, let's switch gears to um, uh, talking about uh, religion, and you know, I think that most uh, that, that most of us can see the um, uh, the problems of religion that religion either supports um, this this breaker culture that we've got, or it ignores it. Um, it doesn't really uh, directly address the culture as an immorality, that, that having, sh having human beings living on the streets in the midst of pl plenty is an immoral culture. Um, that we begin to believe that the only issue, well, well the people say the only issue of morality is whether uh, some little boys are sleeping with other little boys, but the, but the, the whole issue of whether uh, there can be such gluttony and there can be such deprivation in the same culture uh, whether we can completely destroy the earth and, uh, and get away with it. Um, um, and so the question, the, the, or I should say the, the issue that I, I would have is if this way of approaching the, uh, the issue of, of religion is it kind of got us to where we are, does that mean that, that, that religion, not spirituality, but religion is irrelevant? If religion is relevant, what would a relevant uh, religion look like for the 21st century? Well, that's a good question. Though. Well, I think we have to begin with spirituality. Mm -hmm. And I think that every religious reform, whether it's been Buddha, or Lao Tzu in the East, or the Prophets and Jesus and Muhammad in the West, um, I think it's, it's begun with um, spiritual experience, spiritual practice, that has endowed the, the um, changers, the transformers, the agents of transformation, with um, inspiration and courage and, and vision. So, um, I think Religion is not going to heal religion. Only spirituality can heal religion. And, um, uh, and, and then we ask how relevant is religion. And um, I don't know, I, I, I tend to think that, that if you go back far enough, of course, to indigenous spirituality and so forth, that it, it Religion is not really there as a, as a word and a concept. It's the way people live That's together. Right. It's our life. It's yeah. our life with the shared values and the shared celebrations and ceremonies and and uh, so forth. And I do think that it's not as if we we made no progress as a species. I think we have made some. For example, I look at um, the Roman Empire and how um, slaves were taken for granted. Mm -hmm. You you want a war? You, had slaves took slaves back. A lot of them were far more educated than you were. So they taught your kids, and you know, they, they were your doctors. There, it was a pretty good deal. But, but um, we we have come to a point where we say, hey, you know, kind of uh, possessing another human being isn't too good an idea. We still try to do it, but at least in, in we've intentioned intentionally we've tried to say, hey, we're beyond slavery. And um, you know, there have been a few advances, um, but. And, and, and then even the intellectual accomplishments um, of our species, including science, are, are helpful in this regard. You know, I think we have to test religions by all kinds of, of, of ways. Because there's a, a fine a phrase in the medieval philosophy, corruptio optimi es pessima, the corruption of the best is the worst. So if religion represents the best of a community and it goes corrupt, you're really in trouble. <laughs> and obviously we're, we're, we're seeing this in headlines uh, practically daily and it's not just uh, in Christianity but in Islam and Judaism and Hinduism too. I mean there's, there's so much, so many wars that have been fought in the name of my God beating up your God and, and having already beaten up your goddess and buried <laughs> yeah, that's, that's history. Right, right. Yeah. So, um, I, I, I do think any reform of, of religion, and let's, I, I would begin with the assumption, I think all religions on the planet today are failing us. 
If they weren't failing us, we wouldn't be failing as a species. So I don't think any religion has all the answers. I think they all have some answers. And, and uh, you've already talked about what Ram Ramadan does for your soul. And um, I think all the traditions have something to offer. And yet, none of them do. I, I think we need uh, the sum of the wisdom and then more. Right. And I think science has to be brought on board as a wisdom tradition too. Yes. yes. Absolutely included as such. Yeah. And, and with that, and, and so, you know, it's a big enterprise, and I don't think it's going to happen with a five-year plan or, uh, you know, a United Nations declaration. I think it's going to happen at the level of spirituality. And I think when people have had enough of formalized religion, they do call on their spirituality and say, you know, this is who I really am, and this is, let's get together. And, and it's happening. I, I think that this younger generation is just not caught up into, they don't even know religious traditions, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, the, there's so many young Catholics that have left the Catholic Church that they don't even know what a, how many sacraments there are or were, you know. <laughs> What's a sacrament? Exactly. <laughs> so in a way, there's something happening. I would say the Holy Spirit is stripping us down. Mm -hmm. Howard Thurman has that brilliant passage where he says, mm -hmm. I guess he wrote this in the 50s, that um, in, in God's eyes, he said, there's no... Uh, Jew or Gentile, male or female, uh, Buddhist, Hindu, Christian, Jew, we are all stripped down to our literal substance of ourselves before God. I think that stripping is what's happening today. I think we're, we're recognizing that uh, we don't, no one tribe has the answers. And we are searching for wisdom we're, and spiritual experience that seems authentic, that serves. And um, this is, of course, where a lot of uh, Native American wisdom and indigenous wisdom that seems so fresh to us because it has, it's, it's like a shadow. It, it's a mirror on the shadow that we put behind us. It has a living cosmology. It has ceremonies that are really uh, cosmic in their application to, the, to our psyches. And, um, uh, and, of course, they have this necessary relationship with Mother Nature, which has been so despoiled, often in the name of religion.